Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is uh, Perry with Details Retail. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a Miller Thunderbolt 225. 225, man. Stay alive, right? Well, anyways, I required a Thunderbolt. Uh, when I got it, it was in really, really rough shape. Um, uh, it was used pretty good, I'd have to say. Uh, they didn't treat it nice, I could tell you that. Well, anyways, what happened to it is the cooling fan was no longer working. So, uh, okay, what I had to do is replace that. Um, first, I tried fixing it, because anybody that uh, knows anything about these little crappy fan motors is that they got uh, bushings, not bearings. There's little brass bushings pressed into where the shaft goes through. And uh, so it creates them to wear out in the, in the armature to fall down and become crooked as it spins. And wears out the armature. I figured I'd try putting two washers on the bottom side to keep it up. And it worked for like a day. And then it quit working after I put it back together. And uh, well, I'm not going to buy another one of these ones that's designed that's going to fail you know and put it in there especially Miller wants a hundred and fifteen dollars for that that is absolutely out of, out of your mind they might have updated the design but on this Thunderbolt it has this baby on it and it is this is junk and I can tell you just what I probably every other one of them are junk too so I am not gonna go down that road again right who wants to go and do a repeat of what has already happened so we have decided to change it up a little bit and save us some money. You know, these welders, you pick them online. You know, if you get them used, you can get them from $200 to $350. So, you know, spending $115 on a fan, that is kind of like almost half of what you can get another one for. But it's probably going to have the same problem as the cooling fan is going to be junk on it. Um, so, what I did, and oh, further ado, here's what I did. So you guys, are you ready? Here it is. Okay, and going down, and I'll show you. I put in a Daytona little muffin fan is what they call it, I guess. I don't know why they call it a muffin fan, but it's a, uh, looks like a fan from uh, a computer case, but it's not. That is 220. If you guys are going to do this, you got to make sure you get a 220 fan, not a 120, because you'll smoke it. Because this is a 220 unit. So, and I got it just sitting on bolts that I popped holes through. So I, well, yeah, that way I could adjust how high I wanted it up. So if I was having issues with pulling air up, I could adjust it a little bit. So those are uh, 3 inch. 1032 button head screws I got popped through the bottom I might weld the bottom yet I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet but then I got them you know double nutted to lock everything up and keep it in in its spot and I'm gonna solder these connections back on to the motor when I'm done because I'm not sure what the polarity was of the wires and I wanted to make sure my fan wasn't spinning the wrong way right so I just temporarily did that to check it out they're going to be soldered to the connections and I'm going to take off those uh, connectors because they don't fit because the little pins on the fan are very tiny so this is going to solder them on and be done with it well anyways here I'll show you how it works guys it's you know it's really simple all right I'm going to turn it on And this is a way more quiet than that old fan would be. So I've heard those things run. They sound like they're going to explode inside the little case they're in. You know, when they're inside the case. I guess they might want that to make sure you know they're working, that they're that loud. But this is uh, real simple. It's, it's really quiet. And uh, for the money, it's... For the money, that's that's where it's going to come in. Is the price point thirty dollars? Well, you can get it online for I seen them for like twenty six, but I wanted to pick it up that day, so I went to Granger. I'll leave a link for you, 
Uh, the part number of the fan is, uh, it is a 4WT33. That is the part number. So if you guys have a similar issue and you wanted to do the same thing or give it a try, I'm sure I'm not going to have any issues with it. Uh, it would be way better than not having a fan in there <laughs> trying to use it without a fan. Um, you know, that way it is cooling something. Um, these, these units are pretty tough. So uh, I painted my case over there. You know, when I got it, like, and I just straightened it all out. And uh, so it's going to look pretty good. And hopefully, you know, my fan will, fan idea will stay, keep it cool enough that I shouldn't have any problems. You know, buying a $115 junkie fan, you know, this garbage. I, I don't know how anybody could even let that go. I mean, I don't know. It's just, you know, when you spend something, when you buy these brand new, I mean, they're money. I mean, why would you put junk in them that are just going to tear up? You know, that just sucks. Well, anyways, this is my fix. If you guys liked this video, I hope you did. Um, it's you know I'm not it's not gonna be a how-to video. I'm not gonna show you exactly what I did because I wasn't I was just experimenting as I was doing it and I didn't want to experiment on uh, on the video for you guys. But it's barely basic, you know. As you can see, just the pins, you know, the screws set up so I can adjust it, and you just pop four holes in it. Just you know, get your bolts or your nuts on. And your lock lock washer. I mean, I got the 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 bolts from Menards. They're uh, 1032 by three inches long. So I had to drill a hole in the fan too, so they'd slip through the fan. Uh, I th first thought about maybe I'd tap it, but then then it'd be a little more sketchier and trying to get it to adjust its height. This makes it a lot more easier to adjust its height. So. I could make it you know tilted crooked whatever way I wanted to go with it it'd be just so much easier with the setup I just did it in so with that being said you know give me a like uh, leave some comments you know I could if you have any questions exactly what what I did I'll answer to my best ability um, you guys enjoy your Thunderbolts uh, one thing you know I'm not a real blue guy I usually like the red stuff so it seems like every Miller I've owned, I had to work on it. And my Lincoln I have for the last 18 years, I've not touched it. So I don't know if that's saying something, but every Miller I've gotten my hands on to has always been worked on. So, <laughs> okay, you guys have a great day and take care and make sure you take care of yourselves during this time, you know, with the, you know, the situation going on. You guys take care, that stuff is nasty. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys later.